Hey, what's going on everybody? Chad Christian coming at you with another exciting review video. Today I'm bringing you the brand new Google Pixel Book. This is the new Chromebook by Pixel that's going to be replacing the previous generation that they had out there. As you can see, this is a beautifully slim and lightweight design. This thing weighs under two pounds. It runs Chrome OS and it will also natively run your Android apps. And we'll show you those in just a little bit. Now let's go over the hardware on this. On the left hand side you can see that you've got your USB-C, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, your volume rockers, and your power button. And over on the right hand side you've just got one USB-C, which you can charge by either side and these also have an LED indicator. Now as far as the keyboard goes, you can hear it's uh, tactile. It feels very MacBook-like and this is a glass trackpad it's got a good feel to it nice spring nice clicky feel side note before we get into the performance of the system if you're a g suite user meaning you pay for the business or corporate edition you do have to get with your administrator and he has to unlock a bunch of security uh, features to be able to use google assistant and he has to also whitelist any applications to be installed on the system if you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave those down below and maybe I can do a full detailed uh, setup and walkthrough on how you do that. So here you can see that it plays uh, Hearthstone with no problems and let me show you what the uh, sound is like. So the sound is good and loud, it just doesn't have a full rich deep bass sound like you will find with a Surface Laptop or the iPad Pro which I will compare to here in just a little bit as far as size and dimensions go. So you are better off if you're looking for sound to actually keep it in this laptop mode because those speakers fire up. So just know that when you're in a different mode it won't be as loud but other than that they sound fine and you can see here that it plays these games with no problem. And battery life, I'm getting around 8 hours of heavy use, so good battery life on it. And right here, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. This is the brand new Microsoft Surface Laptop. Now, the one on the right has the 256 gig, so you can see here that they're almost the exact same size. The Surface Laptop is $1299, and the Pixelbook is $1199, with just a, just a little bit smaller footprint here. You can see that maybe about an inch difference or so. Now this is what it looks like against a iPad Pro 12.9. This is the second generation model. Again, it's almost the exact same size footprint. So if you guys are looking at this for college or just for portability, this thing is very easy to use. It's light, it's, uh, it's fast. It's something that you're gonna grab a lot just because of the portability. So this is what it looks like when we're running uh, different programs and applications. What I did here is I actually opened like 13 or 14 different uh, tabs in Chrome just to see if we could collapse the system and uh, it never crawled, it, it never hindered, the performance didn't drop, there was no you know, frame rate drops, anything like that. And I'm running some really heavy intensive uh, applications here all at once. I also tried running a bunch of games and applications all at the same time and of course with that Core i5 that's in this system there was never a hiccup to be found. So you can um, definitely use this without ever worrying about uh, speed performance or anything like that. Now also note that a lot of programmers like to use this system and they side load uh, Linux on it which you can do and there are some videos out there to do that it's actually pretty easy to do that if you want to use this as a Linux based system so now as far as your native apps go you can just instantly resize them you don't use the function F4 anymore you just click on it it automatically resizes so that's pretty nice okay Google show me videos of Chad Christian now this does have a dedicated Google Assistant button on the keyboard and if you use the button instead of saying the command you can type in the question you have and it doesn't disturb people around you so that's a cool feature. And there it is that's awesome YouTube. So the thousand dollar question of the day is should you buy this and do I recommend it? 
I think if you're heavily into the Android system, you use the phones, the Chrome operating system, I would definitely say it's worth it because 95% of your work can be done on the system and the other 5% can be done on a laptop or a PC. Listen, if you were an Apple user, you'd be using an iPad and nobody would be saying anything about the $1,000. So is this worth $1,000, which is about the same cost as your phones? Definitely. If you guys have any questions or comments, as always, make sure you leave them down below. Click that thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.